Hey guys, so welcome back to another video on trade now and for this video I'm back with another one minute strategy and for this I'm going to be using the MACD ultimate MACD indicator together with two other indicators to help me to improve my strategy and since we're using it on a one minute time frame we're going to be having a lot of trades so it's important that you know what type of trading exchange you are using and for this video I'm going to bring you guys to the exchange that I personally use and right now if you sign up with the link in the description box below for a FedEx account, you will earn an extra 4% with the link, it will be 5% on your deposit amount. So basically, whatever money you deposit will gain you an extra 5% bonus to your account. And when you're trading on a 1 minute time frame, make sure to have very low fees. In this case, the fees are as low as 0.02%. If you use the link in the description, you'll get free VIP one and it'll be 0.019% and that is very very little compared to other exchanges. So if you guys want to use this strategy, make sure to check out the link in the description to sign up for a FedEx account. Really helps me a lot and will help you to give lower fees as well. So anyways, let me bring you guys into the video right now. So I'm going to bring you guys through the indicators we'll be using. So you just go to indicators metrics, you can click on the top side. And we're going to bring in this Mac D Custom, so you can see it's the second indicator used on Trading View. And next up, what we will be using, we'll be using the CM Auto MA Multi Time Frame by Chris Moody. So just search CM Auto Mert, and you see this, and you click on it. Last but not least, we'll be using the Cumulative Delta Volume Indicator. So click on this by Lonesome, and you have the candles. So there we have the indicators that you need and the trading rules are pretty simple. Basically, you want to be scalping in and out of the markets and base and try to get as much out of the markets as you can. So I'm going to bring you guys the positions that we're going to take and how you're going to take them. So first up is when you're going to take uh, how you're going to take long positions. So for you to take long positions, price must be above the ultimate moving average and the moving average must be green in color next up there must be a green signal on the macd so in this case you can basically just remove everything here and you only want to have the cross so basically when there's a green signal you want to take that signal and lastly there must be a green signal on the cdv indicator for you to go long so here we have a perfect example so let me explain to you why so first up you're going to look at your MACD indicator you see that there's a green dot right here and you see that on this green dot price is above the moving average and it is green in color as well so there's another valid signal and we look last up on your cumulative delta volume indicator we're gonna you can see that it's green in color and that means we are valid to enter a long position stop loss you can put it below the recent swing low and you want to take usually a 1 is to 1 or 1.5 is to 1 so for this strategy i'm going to aim to have a 1 is to 1 because we're going to take more trades so we want to have a higher win rate so same thing here we are going to look at how to take another long position we're going to wait for a green signal so here we have a green signal but you can see that the moving average is red in color so not valid green signal Moving average is red, not valid, so we're going to wait again. Here we have green signal, moving average is red, not valid. Same thing here, moving average red, not valid. So we're going to wait, wait, you guys got to be patient. And here we have a valid example. You can see that we have a green signal here. And we have price above the moving average and the moving average is green. And we have a green indication on the CDV indicator, so it's an indication to go along there. Stop loss will be right below the recent swing low and you take a 1 is to 1. So if you guys notice the other trades, you can see right here green signal. Green signal, we are all ignoring all the green signals because the moving average is red in color, which tells us that we're in a downtrend. But the moment is it turns green here on the moving average and we have a green signal, you can see that immediately it's a win and it's a winning position. Same thing here, we will filter out this trade because this is red in color. But here we have another winning trade. You see that we have a green signal here. Price is above the moving average and the moving average is green. And we have green signal on the CDV indicator. Stop loss right below the recent swing low. You want to leave a little bit of gap and you take a 1 is to 1. Another win right there. 
so that is basically on the long side position now i'm going to show you guys how to trade the downside and hopefully you guys can be able to trade both sides of the market so let me try to find so i'm going to start from here try to look for short positions here we have a basically for short positions it's basically the same thing as you're taking your long positions but you just want to flip it on the opposite side so let me explain to you the rules first up you want to wait for price to be below the moving average and the moving average has to be red in color next up you want to have a sell signal on your macd indicator and last but not least you want to have a cdv the cdv being red in color when you take the sell position so first up you want to look at your sell position so we're going to see here we have a red indication right here but our cdv indicator is green here so we're going to ignore that position although we end up to be win it's important to ignore these bad signals when they don't fulfill your conditions same thing here we have a sell signal but the moving average green in color so not valid so we're just going to be patient and we're going to wait for the next signal which is right here here we have another signal but it is not valid you can see that it's green in color here but here we have a proper selling signal now so we have a sell signal on the macd indicator we see that price is below the moving average and the moving average is red in color and your cdv indicator is red in color as well so it fulfills all our conditions and that is a valid position stop loss you want to put it above the recent swing high which is right here so leave a bit of gap and you take a one is to one same thing here we have another valid position you can see that we have a sell signal here price is below the moving average and the moving average is red and we have a red signal on the cdv indicator stop loss right above and we take a one is to one so another valid position here we have a sell signal and we will enter another position there because all conditions are sufficed but it ended up to be a loss and that is okay because losses are normal so after that i'm gonna look for another position here we read signals ignore red signal you ignore as well because it's a green on the cdv and here we have the moving average being green same thing here we have a red signal by the cdv it's in the moving average is green in color red signal moving average green here we have a red signal and that is our valid position so basically this signal you're ignoring because of your moving average ignore cause of moving average ignore because of the candle here and ignore cause of moving average so you can see that they are filtering out the bad trades and if i took any of the trades right here right of these four trades you'll end up in a loss so let me show you guys here is another valid position you see that price is below the moving average and the moving average is red in color we have a sell signal and the cdv being red so we're going to take that signal stop loss right above the recent swing high and you take one is to one so with there we have it another winning position so as you can see out of all the positions that we take we took about six positions today and ended up to be a five wins and six losses Oh, we actually took seven positions so six wins and one loss only but obviously it i'm only trading in these trendy markets as you can see it's clearly going down or clearly going up so what happens is that this is for you to try to filter out the bad markets and what do i mean by bad markets bad markets i mean like this you can see that you can see that it's changing from red to green red to green red to green red to green the moving average is constantly not having a clear direction you want to trade these markets where it's constantly green or you want to trade these markets where it's constantly red so make sure to try to avoid this style of markets where it's constantly changing and you want to avoid having price uh near to the moving average so uh, anyways that's it for today's one minute guide make sure to check out the link in the description to get low fees especially if you are using this method because it's important to trade with low fees on the one minute time frame so yeah check out my other videos as well and thank you guys for watching